For the first time since Danny Heinrich was called a person of interest in the disappearance of Jacob Wetterling, we are hearing from Aaron Larson. He's a friend who was with Jacob the night he was kidnapped. The FBI arrested Danny Heinrich a week ago at his home in Annandale. Today, the 52-year-old was in court facing child pornography charges. We'll have more on what happened inside the courtroom in just a minute. But first, Aaron Larson is sharing his reaction to the news. What can I add to this equation that can maybe piece everything together? Aaron was 11 years old in 1989, the same age as Jacob. He is now 37 and living in southwest Minnesota. WCCO's Liz Collin is just back from meeting him. And Liz, it was the Wetterlings who actually called Aaron Larson to tell them about this arrest last week. Yeah, right? that's right, Amelia. It was. Aaron Larson told me today that it was one week ago he got the call from them. The day before, Danny Heinrich was publicly named as a person of interest in Jacob Wetterling's kidnapping. Aaron says as soon as he saw Heinrich's photo, he felt differently than he did about any other photo he'd been shown in the past. He believes Heinrich's voice will be the most telling of all. He has yet to hear that. Larson was riding his bike back from a gas station with Jacob and Jacob's brother the night of October 22nd of 1989 when a masked man with a gun ordered them into a ditch. That's when Aaron and Trevor were told to say their ages before being told to leave. Aaron was also grabbed in the groin area by that man, a detail that hasn't been reported before. Aaron says investigators have never contacted him to ask him anything about Heinrich, but when he looked at all of the paperwork himself and read the news reports, it seems to make sense. My gut feeling is when you piece things together and, you know, his history and a lot of the evidence, it kind of points that way, but you just got to never give up looking for answers and getting more information from him. After that, I was... Aaron Larson told me it wasn't until a blogger, Joy Baker, contacted him about the sexual assaults in the Painesville area that he knew they ever even happened. He still has yet to talk to Jared Shirell. Investigators found Heinrich's DNA on Jared's shirt after he was sexually assaulted months before Jacob was kidnapped. Aaron says he thinks of Jacob every day. He says it's shaped who he is and that he still lives with survivor's guilt, wondering why he's still here and Jacob isn't. Wow. So, Liz, um, Aaron wants to talk to investigators about Heinrich, right? Yeah, he believes that he holds probably another piece to this puzzle, so he's hoping that they will uh, reach out and he can be of help. Hopefully they do. All right. Thank you, Liz.